One, two. Ninja, one, two. Again, one, two. So now, number 10 is in the fourth position. Breaker, breaker, 10 forward, all my truck driving buddies. Oh yeah, that's right. A new release from Matthew Wright. We also take a deep dive into hyperventilation from Daryl. We have a bunch of other sneak peeks, a load of giveaways, and we find out what's the latest and greatest in magic this week. Let's get into it, you absolute legend. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic. What's new this week? I'm of course Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a lot to cover and some would say it's equivalent to one metric ton of sponge balls. So let's get straight into question time. This first question comes in from Jerry over there on Instagram asking whether the Demi deck and the deck is examinable. Absolutely my friend, the deck is 100% examinable. Oh baby, it doesn't get any better than that. Now this next question comes in from YouTube asking about the Real Airborne 2.0 and when is it available? Well, my friend, it's available right now. You know what? I'll even have a link in the description below right now, my dearest, dearest of friends. Now this last question comes in from Keith about Bubble Ring and whether it includes a Hank. Absolutely, my friend, everything you need to perform Bubble Ring is included in the box. Now let's wrap up this question time with last week's word, Maccas. What is Maccas? Well, Maccas is Australian slang for McDonald's. So after I finish filming this episode, I'll probably head down to the local Maccas and make a Big Mac disappear. You know what? I'll see myself out after that joke. I, I, I apologize. Look, I'll finish the episode first. Now, what will this week's word be? Only time will tell. Now, my friend, if you do have any questions on anything you see in this episode, please throw them down in the comment section below but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now let's find out what was released this last week in Magic. This part of the program is brought to you by Sucker Punch. They're just like poker chips, but way cooler. Now available right now from your favorite Magic shop is Bubble Ring by Adrian Vega and Real Airborne 2.0. So if you wanna see more on these incredible products, there'll be a link in the description below right now where you can check them out. Now let's get on to Monday where Peter Egging released his new effect, Tornado. Tornado is the smoke and glass reinvented. You can now perform the smoke to glass as never before. For the first time, it's super visual, super easy, and super practical to perform. Tornado is the closest thing to real magic. And it's not just limited to the smoke to glass effect, but it's also designed to elevate your everyday card magic in stealth mode. Cleverly designed and hidden in plain sight, just inside a six millimeter thick gimmick. It's made to blend in with your own deck of bicycle playing cards. You can make cards magically appear under the glass, use it to level up your color changes, or add that extra dimension of mystique to your favorite haunted deck. This unique smoke system has also taken four years in R&D to create. Now the box includes the tornado gimmick, the red and blue bicycle card gimmick, a micro USB charging cable, remote control, smoke fluid, and online instructions. Now, if you wanna see more on Tornado by Peter Eggink, link in the description below right now to a magic shop. We can get it worldwide at your favorite magic shop for $150, and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, let's check out Hyperventilation by Daryl. Now, Daryl's HBE or Hyperventilation is one of the most perplexing and unique card tricks you can perform. Two cards are selected and signed before openly cut, folded, and passed through the fourth dimension, where they magically transform into a double-faced and double-backed hyper cards. These impossible cards are given away as a souvenir to your spectators, as evidence of an amazing magical experience that they will never forget. This draw-dropping effect is absolutely incredible, and hyperventilation comes complete with a specially printed poker-sized bicycle rider back playing cards and these are manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. It also includes online detailed instructions. Plus, as an extra bonus, you receive a bonus one card version of HBE from Javier Fuenmaya. Now, this is easy to learn, easy to perform, all gimmicks are included, and detailed online instructions are included. Plus, also, don't forget that bonus effect. So if you want to see more on Hyperventilation by Daryl, link in the description below right now. You can pick it up for $29.95 and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Oh yeah, that's right. It is now time for the news. 
Oh, I still need this. Now on Sunday, after a lot of you reached out and wanted to see a full performance of Bubble Ring, we did just that. So make sure you check out our YouTube. We can see a full performance in its beautiful entirety, hard on screen right now. And then on yesterday's episode of Stumped, I took a deep dive into Peter Egging's new effect, Tornado. How long does the battery last? How long does it take to charge? And how quiet is the gimmick? Make sure you check it out card on screen right now. Now it's time for the reminder of the day. Have you treated yourself to five free magic tricks yet? Make sure you do. I'll have a link in the description below right now or a link will appear on screen just here. Go treat yourself to five free magic tricks. Oh, baby, that's how much we love you. Now let's check out this week's artist of the week. With this week, we're jumping over to Hamish and his smooth moves with a deck of playing cards. Hamish, my friend, over to you. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Hamish, what sweet, tasty, delicious moves, my friend. If you wanna see more of Hamish's work, link in the description below right now to his social media. Make sure you go check him out. Now, if you have a performance that you would love to be seen on What's New This Week, all you need to do is tag us in your content. I'll take a look and share it in a future week's episode. It's really that easy. This just in, the random comment entry winners from last week. If you're from Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, congratulations, my friends. You're the winners of last week's secret prize. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials and I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey Bo, I've liked the video because I know it'll help out the video loads and it'll bring a big smile to your beautiful face. Stop it, you're such a charmer. Now, if you want a chance to win this episode's secret prize, all you need to do is comment in the comment section below what is your favorite effect from this episode. Make sure you comment on all of our social media platforms for more chances to win. Then next week, I'll draw out three random names at random and you'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. Now let's jump over to our reviewer on the streets. With this week, we're jumping over to Magic Orthodoxy and his review of Sly Dini's Knotted Silks. David, my friend, take it away. Right, you get three teachers, Bill Malone being the headliner that comes in at the end. So you get a solid hour of just different ways you can do the Sly Dini Silks. And the great thing about that is, if you learn this, you'll be able to develop your own routine, right? There's no reason you need to copy any one of those teachers. You'll have the skills and the techniques to perform this yourself. And it's literally a packs flat plays big effect. David, I say this a lot and I mean it. Another awesome review. Thank you so much. If you wanna see the whole thing in its beautiful, tasty, delicious, gorgeous entirety, make sure you do. There'll be a link in the description below. Now let's check out this week's deck of the week. With this week, we're taking a look at the iCubed playing cards. Now, if you want to see more on the iCubed playing cards, link in the description below right now where you can pick them up for just $13. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out what's back in stock. This first back in stock item is Vestige. Can the dead speak to the living? From the brilliant minds of Rizki Nanda and Andy Alton, a beautiful piece of magic is born. A revelation from the afterlife. If you want to see more on this awesome release, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $55 and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. This next back in stock item is Fuse It by Victor Sands. <laughs> what, what? Now it's one piece you can check. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Victor and I want to try something with this little post-it note and this sharpie. I want to put my name here. Very easy, okay? Very easy. Now, can you peel the paper? Peel the paper and check that it's only one paper. Yeah, take it. And check that it's normal. Normal? Watch. I'm going to stick into the next post-it like this, okay? and you are going to put your name here. Okay. So yeah, Tony. But now if I take now this paper, I will take two papers at the same time, you know? If I take like this, it's two papers. What? Looks like it's the same paper, but it's an illusion. What? If I do magic, Now the two papers are fused together and you can check a one single paper and you can check, you can check, you can check that this one paper now. Leonard, this is for you and you can thank you, thank you. If you want to see more on Fuse It by Victor Sands, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $39.95 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now this last back in stock item is the Appearing Glass by Steve Thompson. You start with a completely empty paper bag. The spectator can even look inside. They can even put their hand in and feel it's completely empty. And then it happens. This is Steve Thompson's appearing glass. It's loud, it's visual, and it's surprising. Steve Thompson's appearing glass is easy to do, practical, and totally impossible. In your package, you get the perfect size durable tumbler, and most importantly, the specially gimmicked bag. It's made out of Tyvek, and it's built to last. The appearing glass is a fantastic opener, but it can also be used as a showstopper at any point during your act. 
You can do it close up, walk around trade shows and on stage. You can produce any liquid from cola to milk to water and even beer. And you're not just limited to drinks. You can produce phones, decks, Rubik's cubes and so much more. Here's three things to remember. The glass is completely ungimmicked. The bag can be seen on all sides. And the spectator can even reach in and take out the glass themselves. Unlike other appearing glasses, you don't need to worry about liquid spilling. It's simple and practical and you can be ready to perform it at a moment's notice. For decades, legendary magicians such as Pat Page, Eugene Berger and Richard Osterlund have made the appearing glass a highlight of their shows. A clever new gimmick and a brand new approach make Steve Thompson's appearing glass the perfect addition to your repertoire. Now, if you want to see more on the appearing glass, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $40 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, let's check out some downloads that you don't want to miss. This first download is Rainbow Matrix on lap. This week on The Vault, a casual matrix routine that you can do without a tabletop. You can do this right on your lap and that's why I like it. So Vicky Gong has something called Rainbow Matrix. He uses different colored coins, but keep in mind, you can do this with any small flat objects, any coins that you have, a key, a coin, a sugar packet. You get the idea, this is very cool. This is Rainbow Matrix on Lap by Vicky Kong. If you want to see more on this beautiful release, make sure you do. Link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for just $10. This next download is Eric Tate's At The Table Lecture. Hi, my name is Eric Tate. I had a great time here at the table. I just finished filming my lecture and I'm super excited for you guys to see it. And uh, can you remember that card right there? Yeah, excellent. Uh, what's important is uh, you go ahead, you know, let's go a little bit further. Can you take this pen and uh, go ahead and sign your name big and bold right there across the face of the card. Fantastic. So, so uh, here's what we'll do is we'll take that, we'll put it right there, and uh, we'll do the same thing for someone over here. Uh, let's say, uh, hey, you at home, can you remember this card? Uh, tell you what, uh, Javier, you go ahead and sign this card for that as well. Perfect. Uh, I can steal all kinds of stuff from your bank account. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go place that right there. Actually, so uh, I would have two people place their hands on the cards at this moment. So you can go ahead and uh, place your hand on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and steal the signatures from the two people. I think I got, yeah, I got the one. Uh, but I, I was trying to steal the signatures at the same time. Ooh. So we ended up there. Nice. And then they can turn their cards over because uh, I did just steal the signature. I told you I was just going to steal wow, the signature nice, nice. of the card. Fun, right? <laughs> yeah, so, that's uh, great. Can I get anyone a round of drinks or whatever? Actually, let's uh, let's go to the next uh, next thing. Um, uh, tell you what, uh, go ahead and say stop whenever you want. Stop uh, right there. Tell you what, uh, we'll use uh, we'll use this card. Uh, go ahead and take a look at that one. Okay. Uh, in order for you to really see uh, this trick properly, I need to do it with a red deck. So <laughs> nice. We've also got something for the move monkeys out there. I teach a fun, difficult, triple change uh, that happens on the table. The eight of hearts uh, in this scenario, and then if I just go like that, I can actually change it into a black card, the five. And then if I go back like that, it changes <laughs> wow, into nice. a joker. This is the first time that I've ever put on film a trick that I always open with. This is my party piece. Uh, so this actually can be done with a shuffled deck. Okay. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll do this. Uh, go ahead and uh, liberate a card from the deck, anyone you'd like there. You sure want the four of diamonds, or do you want to put it back and get a different <laughs> one? You know how that works, right? You can show them it was the four of diamonds. That's uh, it's actually, it's very easy how that works. You see they're all the four, you see how like that's a four, mm, that's wow. a four, that's a four, that's a four. Believe me, it's a significantly better trick when they're when they're all different. Oh, nice, nice. Now this is not your card, this is the Jack of Clubs, yep. right? Actually, if you if you look at it very closely, you can actually think about it, it might look like the Four of Diamonds even though it's not there. When you look very closely, you shake it, it looks like the Four even though it's 
I love the material that I taught. I know you're going to love it too. Come join me at the table. Now, if you want to see more on Eric Tate's At The Table lecture, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $9.95. This last download is called Kelly Move The Return. If you want to see more on Kelly Move The Return, a link in the description below right now to a magic shop where you can pick it up for $19.95. G'day champion, welcome back to Murphy's Magic's Game Show. It's me, your host, Grizzly Peterson. Let's jump over and check out what the prizes are for this week. Whoa, all those prizes for just one of you. That's tastier than sipping a throffy out by the billabong. Now let's see who won tonight's prize. How are we gonna get that started? Hang on, I know. The old stroke of the beard and dip of the drover hat. That should do it. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, hey, whoa, all close, mate. No cigar, whoa, hey, oh, hey. Hey, congratulations, champion. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials. I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say bunning snag. Now, if you want to enter into next week's competition, make sure you comment Tinny. below and I'll put you into the running for next week. Now, congratulations to our winner for this week and good luck for everyone for next week. Now back to Bo in the studio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the sneak peek section, my friend. I know you've watched the whole entire episode because you're an absolute legend and you don't skip anything. That's why I love you. And as a special treat, let's get into some sneak peeks. This first sneak peek is tomorrow's vault called Vapor. Let's check it out right now. If you want to see more on Vapor, it drops tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you can pick it up for just $10. Now on to Friday, when Matthew Wright is here with Ninja Stack. Let's see the trailer right now. <laughs> Playing cards can be really scary. 
Especially if you're trying to remember their order. <laughs> but fear no more. It's time to train as a ninja. You hit him with a one two, a ninja hits you. One two. Ninja, one two. Again, one two. So now, number ten is in the fourth position. Breaker, breaker, ten four to all my truck driving buddies. A, a ten four uh, is uh, it's understood. Uh, you understand that? I'll read you loud and clear. Ten four. But you'll be learning a new skill. You'll be learning how to cut directly to the card. It's 46, I think 46, and I cut down to the 46th card. As we go through, this will become very, very clear and it'll become automatic for you, so don't worry about it. Just drop them on the hand. 28. 28. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There's 15 cards to the jack, which means there's 14 cards to the hat, 14. By doing that, I can now pop these back on top and I've kept the order of the stack. One at a time, turn the cards over. That's the seventh card, yeah? Yeah. You said number seven? Yeah. And you thought of the King of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Have a look. I haven't touched anything. Turn it over, have a look. <laughs> 51. Boom, there we go. And as they come out, that now puts the nine of spades into the 11th position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now, if you want to see more on Ninja Stack by Matthew Wright, it drops on Friday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you can pick it up for just $20. Now, my friend, if you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this entire episode, please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, my friend, I know you're incredibly, insanely, and beautifully busy, so I will let you get back to your Wednesday. I'll see you on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery, on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. I'll see you next Tuesday for a special episode of Stumped. Now, take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.